Peggy 18. My Marchasar, Winjamana, Ulaikwa, Shuta Marita! Hello everyone, I'm JC, I'm the creative director on Far Cry Primal and I'm here today with uh, Max. Hi, I'm creative director at Ubisoft Toronto. We're working in partnership with Ubisoft Montreal on Far Cry Primal and today we're showcasing a couple of the new features we've been building for the game. So what we saw at the beginning of the video uh, is actually early on in the game, uh, Ul is the uh, Udam uh, war chief. And uh, with his, uh, his uh, tribe, they're attacking your village. And so now we're uh, trying to make our way to their homeland in order to uh, retaliate. Uh, and it's the occasion to start uh, exploring the majestic world of Oros. The Stone Age is a, a time when man was not at the top of the food chain. And uh, basically our hero Takar will have to make its way from the bottom to the uh, top of this food chain. Speaking of, here's a mammoth. I don't think we're ready to hunt the mammoth yet. <laughs> No, we're not ready yet, uh, but there's a, a few ways we can uh, improve this situation. If you see, there's a dead goat on the ground, so that means there's a, a predator nearby. And in previous games, the predators were only danger. This time around, they're even more savage, but uh, since Takar is the beast master, he can also use it as an opportunity. So he's able to tame all the wild predators of, uh, of Oros. So we have a wolf in front of us, uh, let's try and tame it. And then, oh. All right, let's throw the bait on the ground. That's, the, that's gonna calm it. And then we're gonna tame it. There you go. So cool. So now we have a beast, we have a dire wolf. It's an amazing beast. And one of the ways we can use it uh, in the world of Oros is uh, through hunting. Hunting is a super important part of your experience uh, in Oros. And it's a good way of getting resources that you need for your uh, upgrade. And send your beast, it's super easy, you just point, send your beast over to it. Oh. <laughs> Not that time. That's open world, my friend. Yep, so everything is systemic, but we'll find another prey. Something big here, we find a yak. So a yak is a big prey, but uh, these wolves are dire wolves, so they're quite huge themselves. And, uh, so he start chasing, uh, he's got it by the tail. By the throat, thanks to take down. Good boy! Perfect, time for a reward maybe? There you go, you can feed your beast, it's also the way uh, of healing them. We just uh, killed the yak, it's the opportunity to get resources from it, which will enable us to upgrade, so let's see what we can upgrade. There's a lot of way of uh, hunting, uh, traps, uh, placing traps on the ground is also another way of hunting in uh, Primal. Because we just killed a yak now, the carcass might attract the predators in the area. So I think there's a doll that's coming, exactly. So we're just gonna set the trap on the ground and wait for the doll to come. So this is a great opportunity uh, to uh, get resources. There's a lot of way of hunting different animals in the game. And once you manage to uh, get the harder resources, you can upgrade uh, a lot of the aspects of the game. There's uh, weapons, uh, bags, etc. So tons of unlocks for you. Here we can take a look at the world map of Oros. The world is really big uh, and it's unfogged uh, through a fog of war. So you have to travel the world in order to unfog it. Uh, there's no more radio towers because of a Stone Age. Uh, but what you see here is a bonfire. Yeah, bonfires are used to fast travel everywhere to the world of Oros, and it's also a place where you can access your village stash. So let's go there and uh, claim it for ourselves. Oh, the wolf is growling. So uh, all the animals have abilities, and uh, the wolf uh, will uh, growl in order to alert you of uh, nearby enemies. You can use one of the other tools of the Beastmaster in order to recon the environment around you. Takar can summon uh, the owl to be able to fly around, survey the area, get a good tactical view. Now we've marked three enemies. So there this one, the one with the uh, orange horn, is able to uh, summon reinforcements. So it's probably a good idea to go in uh, more stealth. And so we'll summon uh, another one of the animals, uh, which is the jaguar, which is uh, very good for stealth approach. 
Yeah, exactly. What's fun with uh, the Jaguar is that if you crouch, it's also going to go low and it's going to be stealth, not make much noise, not attract uh, any enemies or, or predators. So let's take out this first guy headshot. Nice So here you see, uh, as long as we crouch and the, the Jaguar is crouching, it's completely undetectable, and so we can uh, approach very stealthily from the enemies. Oh, that was a good headshot. This is exactly what I love to do when I play the game. Send my beast on a first target and take out the second one right away, and then double take down. And so now uh, we can claim the bonfire with the fire roll. So this is really cool because it gives us a, a very important anchor point in the world where we can fast travel. It enables us to uh, conquer the world of Oros and have much more ease as we travel through it. But there's a lot of other ways we can have uh, we can travel through the world of Oros. As the Beastmaster, you can uh, summon an owl, you can give order to a beast, but you can also uh, ride a wide array of animals uh, like the young mammoth. But you also have other beasts that you can uh, ride, and uh, it gives you uh, really uh, a lot of ease as you travel through the world, uh, and you're able to move much faster, but also use it as a weapon, which is a good opportunity. So you can see the green gas, which is one of the weapons of the Udam. And the rhino just decided to run away. So here we see uh, the glacier uh, of Oros in the back. We'll just uh, skip ahead to the uh, outpost uh, where we'll uh, find a lot more resistance and we'll summon a saber tooth. What a great feeling. I love doing that. So the saber tooth is uh, one of the deadliest predators in the, in the game world. And uh, once you have one at your side, uh, it gives you a lot of power. So we've arrived uh, to the outpost that we're uh, hoping to attack. And uh, the best way, uh, the best course of action, as usual, is to uh, summon a uh, trusty owl and recon the area. Yeah, exactly. And when flying with the owl, uh, the different icons tell us the types of enemies that we're going to be facing. There's a lot of things we can do uh, with the owl. It's not only a recon tool. We can still give orders to our beast, so we could command it from here. But we can also uh, drop uh, different types of bombs. Let's do that. Let's. Uh, set this outpost on fire with some fire bombs. Here we go, and we can also use it to attack enemies, uh, dive down uh, directly to enemies. So this, of course, uh, is alerting them a lot, so now uh, they'll be looking for us, uh, but it's time to assault. Go spear, spear to the head, send the saber to it. Oh, jump attack, I love that one. That's <laughs> super cool. And a takedown, and then throw a shot to kill another dude. About the double bow. There we go. Ah. Reinforcements. That's not good. So now it's going to be much more uh, assault. So let's summon one of the uh, biggest tanks in the game, the Cave Bear, which is uh, very resilient, which can take uh, a lot of punishment and give you the opportunity to uh, go around the enemies. Summon some bees. That's annoying. Which is another one of the cool toys of the Beastmaster. You can dispatch enemies with the bees. Oh, is there an enemy? Yeah, perfect. That from above. The bear's happy. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that was just a small taste of the amazing Stone Age open world full of surprises and danger that we've got waiting for you. Thank you very much, GC. Thank you, Max. See you soon.